Hi everyone, my name is Shelby and you're watching Read and Find Out. Happy Halloween! So to celebrate Halloween today, I decided that I wanted to do my first ever original tag and this is inspired by Harry Potter. This time of year always makes me think of Harry Potter, probably in large part because, you know, Harry's parents died on Halloween. But instead of this being celebrating Harry's parents' death, this is gonna be celebrating Harry overcoming Voldemort, which was really Lily overcoming Voldemort through death. Anyway, so this isn't a book tag in the traditional sense of the word. These aren't questions where you pick a book that aligns with the topic. These are if you were living in the wizarding world and you were going about your everyday life, what would your answers to these questions be? And they're mostly the kind of things that I thought about as a kid when I was going through reading the Harry Potter books and I had this entire, you know, magical life timeline in my head for myself if I had gone to Hogwarts. So that's pretty much what this tag is. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down now. This is my Ollivander's wand. The first question. So you've received your Hogwarts letter and now it's time to go shopping at Diagon Alley. Tell us about your wand. So for this, you can like make something up or you could go with a Pottermore wand that you were given. I'm gonna talk about my Pottermore wand, the wand behind me that I got from Ollivander's after going through the line three times until they picked me for the wand show. That one is birch with phoenix feather, though obviously there's not really a phoenix feather in it, even though that would be great. And I'm not gonna talk about my original Pottermore wand either, because that was different when I was 17 as compared to now. I guess I can tell you about it like briefly. It was just hazel, phoenix feather, 10 and 3 quarters inches hard. So now my wand is ebony wood, which is drawn to people who are strongly individual and who have very strong beliefs, and apparently it is often found in the hands of both Death Eaters and of Order of the Phoenix members. And then my core is unicorn hair, which is extremely hard to turn to dark magic, and it tends to produce weaker magic, but it has a very strong bond to its owner. And I think this combination is super interesting because ebony is for people with strong beliefs and convictions, and then unicorn hair is not going to be turned towards dark arts. And it's supposed to produce weaker magic, but ebony wands apparently tend to be strong for transfiguration and combative magic. So I'm just a host of contradictions. <laughs> and my wand is still 10 and 3 quarters inches, but now it's quite bendy instead of hard. So apparently I've become a more flexible person as I, you know, grew up and became an adult. <laughs> Question two is, do you bring a pet with you to Hogwarts? And if so, what? If you remember the original Hogwarts letter, students can bring cats, owls, or toads. I think that it would actually probably stress me out too much to bring a pet with me to Hogwarts because if it was a cat or a toad, I'd constantly be worried about where it was. Like, I don't want to just leave this animal to wander around Hogwarts. So if I brought one, it would probably actually be an owl because then it could hang out in the owlery with all of its owl buddies, but even then, I'm thinking maybe not. Question three is, you've arrived at Hogwarts, or Ilvermorny, because I mean, I live in North America, I would be going to Ilvermorny. Which houses do you belong to? And for this, I'm curious about Hogwarts and Ilvermorny, if you know both of them. And in case it isn't obvious, I'm a Ravenclaw, wit, wisdom, all that crap. And I'm a Pukwudgie for Ilvermorny. Pukwudgie being the house of healers and it represents the heart. I've heard people say names of combinations of the Hogwarts and Ilvermorny houses, so like a Ravenclaw Pukwudgie would be a wise healer, and I think that suits the counseling profession pretty well, so I like that combination quite a lot. So now we're moving along in your life at Hogwarts, and question four is, do you try out for the Quidditch team, and if so, what position? Nope. <laughs> I don't have athletic ability. I mean, I think as a kid, when, you know, this actually would be happening that I probably would have wanted to try out just because at the time in my real life, you know, I was playing soccer, I was in the band, I was physically active, and I probably had the seeker build at the time, but now I'm just, it's hard for me to picture. So I'm just gonna say no. Also, I think the danger element with Quidditch is just probably wouldn't really suit me. Question five is third year rolls around and it's time to enroll in electives. I'm going to give you the list of Hogwarts electives because you might not remember them and you have to pick at least two because in Hogwarts you have to enroll in at least two electives. The electives being Ancient Runes, Arithmancy, Care of Magical Creatures, Divination, and Muggle Studies. This would probably depend in part upon my blood status because I think that if I was a Muggle-born that I probably wouldn't enroll in Muggle Studies, but I think I'd probably be interested in all of them. So if I was not a Muggle-born, I'd probably try to pull a Hermione and enroll in everything. If I had to sacrifice one, it would probably be Muggle Studies. But I know that I definitely would have an interest in Arithmancy, Care of Magical Creatures, and Divination, and I probably would have some curiosity about Ancient Runes as well. 
well. So Hermione, I would just be Hermione. I'd like to think I'd be the kind of student they'd be willing to give a time turner, but you don't really, you can't know. Now we're gonna be jumping forward a couple of years and you're exiting fifth year and you've just taken your OWLs. So as you're starting sixth year, you have to narrow down the classes you'll be taking based on your OWL scores and what you think you might wanna do with your life. So which classes do you keep? So your options for this obviously include the electives that you selected, assuming you think you would actually pass your OWLs, and the original core classes, which are as follows. Astronomy, Charms, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Herbology, History of Magic, Potions, and Transfiguration. And no, I've not been including flying lessons in this tag because flying lessons are something for first years. So I think when I am getting to the point in the wizarding world but I need to like kind of narrow down my interest a little bit, there are some courses that I know I would definitely want to keep just because I think they would, you know, be my areas of interest, and then some that I might want to, and then some that, no, I'm done with. So I think I definitely want to keep Arithmancy, Care of Magical Creatures, Charms, Herbology, and Potions. Those are like non-negotiable, I'm positive that I would continue taking them. And then I think it would depend on these other few what my actual scores were. On the OWLs, so I think I might want to keep Defense Against the Dark Arts, Divination if I was good at it, and Transfiguration. But I don't think I would really have a use for Ancient Runes or Astronomy. History of Magic honestly has just sounded like a complete bore throughout the entire series. And then I don't even know if I'd be enrolled in Muggle Studies because I think it would depend on my blood status, so. But for sure, Arithmetic, Care of Magical Creatures, Charms, Herbology, and Potions. And then question seven, which is gonna be the final question because it's time to leave Hogwarts now. So like I said, now it's time to leave Hogwarts and you're gonna be making your way in the wizarding world. What do you do from here? I always had an interest in healing, but I don't think that I would be interested in Defense Against the Dark Arts and Transfiguration enough to actually do healing and be like a healer at St. Mungo's or something, because I know that wizarding career field is supposed to require a lot of NEWTs. However, knowing that I think I'd want to stay in herbology and potions, maybe I'd be like an herbalist or a potions maker, but specializing in healing, I could do that. And also, I think I could be interested in something like the Department of Mysteries, you know, with my arithmetic and everything, and potentially divination if I was good at it. That was always a setting and a department that I found extremely intriguing when I was reading Harry Potter because I don't even really know what they do but I know that it involves prophecy. If you don't know anything about arithmetic it's essentially like number magic so it's kind of mathy so I think that maybe some sort of number magic would be fun. It would be kind of cool to travel though because we know virtually nothing about the wider wizarding world so maybe I could be like a traveling herbalist potioner person who specializes in healing. I also don't know how this actually works in North America other than that, you know, I'm a puckwudgie. I don't know anything about the subjects that are taught and stuff like that, so maybe eventually when I'm looking to like settle down a little bit, a professor. And then after all these questions are done, you can pretty much throw in anything else that you speculate about yourself for the wizarding world and you, if you had, you know, a life in the wizarding world, but that's all I have. And I'm gonna be tagging a bunch of people because this is my first original tag, so if you don't wanna do it, I understand, and you don't have to. But these are people whose answers I'd be curious to see. And they are A Bookish Balance, Amber Eats Books, Amy's Vlog About Books, Beautiful Pages, Bookish Ramblings, Books for MKs, Connor O'Brien, Danny Buxton, Gabby Arno, Holly the Book Lover, James Chatham, Chatham, I just realized I don't know how to say your last name, James, and Leah Cooper, Literary Lizzie, Randomly Bookish Gina, Read, Create, Repeat, Homeschool, Shannon Riddler, T Hags, The Chameleon, Tony W, and Velvet and Vibranium. And that's gonna be it for my first original tag video. This was a lot of fun. I like making tags. I've had this in my head for like over 10 years. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know what your Hogwarts and Ilvermorny houses are. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. And until next time, bye.